Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you again for joining me. I look extremely tan. Maybe it's that stuff that I just put on my face, but I'm looking super tan today. Anyway, today we have something new from Jouer. We have the Molten Glow Highlighter that was like a big old pain to try to get because when I went on the site, the site kept crashing. Something was going on, but that's just my luck. Every time something is released and I want to get it, it just doesn't happen. So then I remember good old Beautylish. If you ever have issues trying to order something and if it's available on Beautylish, I've never had any issues. I always get through. And the best thing that I always get their products within like two to three days. I mean, depending of course where you live, but I'm telling you every single time, no issues. And it comes like really, really fast. Anyway, this is what the highlighter looks like. It's absolutely beautiful. It's kind of bougie. It's very glittery. It is the same size as a the finishing powder here. It is going to cost you $28 and it does come with a handy little brush. So let's read a little bit about it. So it says it is an ultra fine shimmering highlighting powder that gives you a brilliant illuminated finish so that you could be the star of the show. Now it says the double the size of Jouer's original highlighters, a molten glow lets you dip into the endless gold luxe. The shimmery buttery smooth powder instantly melts into the skin and delivers a luminous high impact glow. The petite kabuki brush included blends everything perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and swatch the Jouer and I'm going to swatch the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to show you the difference. So this is a Jouer and this is an Anastasia. So Jouer right here. And then Anastasia with Beverly Hills. They're both super creamy and super buttery. I think this one is a little bit more velvety than the other one. So I'm going to go ahead and get the little Kabuki brush, which is really nice because usually when... They come with little kabuki brushes. They're not really soft or the ones that I've used anyway. They're kind of a little bit rough, but this one's super, super soft. It feels really good. So I'm going to go ahead and dip into this one. And then I'm going to apply some. A little bit goes a long way with this one. So I kind of exaggerated a little bit so you could see what it looks like. But it is like, oh my gosh, look at that. So incredibly, incredibly beautiful. My hair is driving me nuts because I'm not used to wearing my hair down and my husband kind of likes it down. So I've been kind of trying. It's getting on my nerves. All right. So we're going to go in with the little wet and wild highlighter brush and then I'm going to put some on my cheeks. Oh my goodness. Look how gorgeous. I mean, of course, I've been playing with it and I've just been dying over it because it is so pretty. And then what I like to do is I kind of like to put a little bit on my eyes so that I'm like a shimmery girl all over. And a little bit on the cupid's bow. Okay, so my final thoughts on this, I really like it. I love the packaging. It's very bougie and pretty. It is vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. The price point is really good. It does come with a little brush that's really nice. Like I said before, usually the brushes are kind of hard and scratchy. This one's just really soft and comfortable. This highlighter is very velvety, very buttery. It is not chunky. It is not glittery. It stays on for a good amount of time. It doesn't fade or anything like that. So I really do like it. And Anyway, that's my video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and I'll see you again for my next video. Bye.